All right, in the previous module, we have talked about localization, we have talked about perception uh, using different techniques, deep learning, or traditional methods. Uh, in the next two modules, we're going to focus on planning and control for autonomous vehicles, which I think is the most critical part uh, for autonomous driving. Um, and it's very complex pipeline to do planning and control because it's the interface between perception, all the high level stuff, and the low level stuff, CAN bus, uh, control. So it's an interface between that. It's actually the brain of autonomous vehicles. And then let's go over uh, the modules. Um, here is the high level architecture of the whole planning and control pipeline. Um, let's look at the external uh, components first. If you look at this uh, slide there, there's a blue box that uh, contains all the core modules within uh, this planning and control pipeline, but it's interacting with a lot of external modules. First one is perception. Uh, remember we talk about perception, it's uh, to recognize the people on the road, to recognize cyclists, and to recognize different cars. So this information will be fed into the planning and control pipeline. Also maps and localization. Uh, at the very beginning of this series, we talk about localization. And the real-time localization result will also be fed to the planning and control module, such the car can uh, in real-time address its, uh, its plan and routing and so on. And then at, on the right side of the figure, if you look at the bottom of it, it says CAN bus. Uh, CAN bus is the actual control bus of the whole system. So the planning and control commands will be sent to the low level uh, mechanical parts for the CAN bus to actually to control the part. So the, the CAN bus computer uh, or, uh, the, the, or the control box, what we call it, you, you can think of it as the spinal cord of a human. And then the planning and control part, uh, or the main computing part here, is the brain of main parts. The brain sends signal to the spinal cord and then receives the feedback from it such that we can adjust our movement. It's the same principle here. So if we look into the blue box here, we see five uh, modules. First one is prediction. Uh, prediction is what we call uh, traffic prediction, such that we can predict uh, the other components on the road, how they are gonna move. So that information is critical in our behavior uh, and how, how we do behavioral planning for the autonomous vehicle. And the second one is routing. Uh, routing is how do you, you know your uh, destination and you know your uh, starting point, how do you generate a route, uh, a, a global plan for the autonomous vehicle. So we're gonna focus on prediction and routing in this module. And then in the next module, we're gonna talk about behavioral decision, uh, motion planning, as well as feedback control. So let's start with prediction. So traffic prediction, imagine uh, if you look at the picture, uh, you see a car going from the left, but you don't know whether the car is going to go straight or turn right. Uh, so you need a prediction mechanism to predict that so that, so that you can uh, make decisions. And then if you, there's a person crossing the street, uh, you don't know where it's going to stop and you don't know the speed of the person uh, uh, that's crossing the street. So you want to learn about the speed of this person crossing the street. Um, so there are actually two problems here for traffic prediction. The first one is a classification problem. So you said for the car, uh, the next action could be go straight, uh, turn right, or even turn left. So you have different choices here. Uh, so that is a classification problem. And then for the person crossing the street, that's actually a regression problem because you want to derive its predicted path. Uh, and then its speed and so on. That's a regression problem. So remember, for traffic prediction, uh, it, it can be uh, divided into two sets of problem, classification and then regression. Uh, so that's pretty much a short overview of traffic prediction. The next one is routing. Say today, if you use Google Map, you want to go from uh, point A to point B. Uh, the way you do it is you, the Google Map would pull out its uh, uh, map information and then plan a uh, most efficient route for you. Uh, so it's the same principle here when we do autonomous driving. The only difference is that for Google Map, uh, it does not have lane information. So if you are on a highway, you have five to six uh, lanes. Uh, you have to know which lane you are choosing uh, and then why you choose that lane and so on. But Google Map does, that, does not have that information. But HD Map, as we introduced before, it has very detailed lane level information. So the routing is uh, also taking into account the lane level information and then for each route, you choose which lane you, you go for. So for example, if you look at the figure here, uh, it says lane one, lane two, lane three. So for all the lanes on the road, it actually get uh, divided into different segments. Uh, so we call it, uh, we number the segment, lane one may be connected to lane two, and lane two may be connected to lane three, and so on. Uh, 
uh, such that you plan a route is uh, make up of all these small segments of the lane. Uh, so that's what we call the lane level routing. And there are two uh, algorithms to do uh, lane level routing. The uh, first one is Dijkstra algorithm. That's a very famous uh, algorithm uh, for uh, routing and planning. And then the second very famous one is the A start algorithm. Uh, for Dijkstra algorithm, it's using the uh, dynamic programming techniques to do it. For A star, it's more using the heuristics uh, search uh, ways to do it. So it's uh, faster to do uh, A star algorithms uh, dynamically. But uh, these two algorithms are the most popular ones for planning and routing. So yeah, that's about it for uh, the first module for planning and control. In the next module, we're going to talk about more details of behavior planning, feedback control, and so on.